My name is John O'Connor. We're here in Kildarton College and I'm just going to give you a rundown on the beef systems here in the college. There's two beef systems in the college. One of them is suckler to beef, where suckler beef is mostly continental animals like here, and we finish all animals on the farm here. The second system is calf to beef, where Jamie will give a rundown on the calf to beef system, where we'll be freezing, ca freezing calves brought into the system and finish the two-year-old beef. Right behind me here, uh, we're in the cabin shed, the suckler cabin shed. Um, I'll just go through a few different breeds here. Well, the calves are, these calves are born in the last couple of days. An average birth weight of a sucker calf would be between 40 kilos and 50 kilos. Uh, this is a young cow here in front of us, a metal cross cow here in front of us. And uh, mostly breeds would have a limousine cross, metal cross, and 50% of the herd in is AI would, uh, would high index, replacement index straws and the other 50% of the herd we use a terminal index bull, a high terminal index bull, a Shirley stock bull. Right, right behind us here is a metal cross cow. Uh, our calf was born a few hours ago, it's a Shirley, Shirley bull calf. The calves from the suckler herd, the four, they go four different directions. The bull calves, 80% of them we do under 16 month old bull beef with them. And 20% of them, the smaller ones we do steer beef, 24 months old. The heifer calves, the top index heifer calves are kept for breeding and the lower index, in, index calves, we finish them off grass the 18 to 20 months old. Right behind us here are two, two black limousine cows. One has a smetal, smetal calf here and the other one has a Charlie calf. Um, the after calf, and the, they come in here just before the calf and they spend two days with the calves and after spending two days they go over to the layback place over here. Right behind us here are the calves and the layback area. As you see different breeds again. There's a Shirley Cross Mental, a red limousine lying down there. The calves lie in the straw and the mothers lay on the stats. And the calves go in and out to the mothers whenever they want to soak. Right behind us here are two bulls. These are two bulls, they're 13 months old. Uh, the breed of the lad here in front of us is Mental. He's 650 kilos. Uh, he has put on 1.47 kilos from birth up to today. And the guy behind him is a Shirley and he's 580 kilos and he, went, he had put on 1.4 kilos from birth up to day. These are on Adelaide meal since uh, 1st of February. They will be slaughtered by early May. And the grades of these animals will be U, the, the white Charlie definitely will be U plus, and this fellow will be U minus. These are two heifer weanlings, they're a year old or 13 months old as well. The heifer up on the right hand side there is a Charlie, she's 440 kilos, and she put on one kilo from birth up to today. And the other heifer here is, 340 kilos, and she's put down 0.9 of a kilo. She is the Charlie of a Belgian blue cow, and the other heifer is a Charlie of a limousine cross cow. These are two steers here right in front of us, uh, 24 months of age, with a red limousine and a Charlie. The red limousine is 660 kilos. He will be going to the factory in the next week or so. He is a grade of about an R plus or a U minus. This guy here is 620 kilos, and this is a U-grade animal. Right behind us here are two Frisian bullocks, uh, 24 months of age as well. They're ready for slaughter. Uh, the tall guy there in the back uh, is 650 kilos. He's a P-grade. And the guy here right in front of us here is an O-grade, and he's weighing 640 kilos. Hello, my name is Jamie Cahill, and I want to talk to you today about the Dairy Calf to Beef Enterprise here in Kildalton College. So I'm going to talk to you the different stages of the calf's life, right from, uh, from birth right through to finish at, at uh, slaughter weight. So I suppose every stage of the calf's life is very, very crucial, uh, starting from the, the, the point of birth. So we're looking here in Kildalton now we have our own dairy unit, and we buy in every year a couple of calves from the dairy bull calves from, from the dairy unit. So we have to ensure that from, from birth that the one, two, three rule is followed. So the one, two, three rule being uh, that the first feed is within two hours and it's three litres of colostrum. This calf is then reared on milk replacer uh, for the first 10 to 12 weeks of the calf's life. Once the calf is eating a kilo of meal per day, we can then start to wean the calf off, off of milk and onto a solid diet, um, and then he's fully weaned off, off of milk. He then goes to grass at about 10 to 12 weeks of age on a kilo of meal for about a month, and that's his, his rearing period finished. So that calf will then spend the next couple of months out at grass in its first season. 
Uh, we, we aim to achieve a, a daily growth rate of about 0.8 of a kilo per day over that first grazing season. Um, the calf will be taken off meal then from around June, July, once grass quality is good enough to keep up that growth rate. Then comes September time when once grass quality deteriorates, as, as does, does weather, um, the calf will be put back on meal to keep that average daily gain going up until housing at about November time, not generally. At housing time, uh, that calf should then weigh about 220 or 230 kilos at housing. Uh, they're on, a, I suppose, a high protein diet at this stage to keep the frame of, of the animal growing over the winter period. Over the winter period, we hope to achieve a daily gain of about 0.7 of a kilo per day. Then at turnout, uh, the following spring, come, come end of February or early March, they'll be turned out to, to grass at an average rate of about 200 or 320 or 330 kilos. The two animals here in the crush today are very good examples of, of what we have on the farm. These two guys here are weighing 380 and 390 kilos, so they're well ahead of, of the targets for, for this uh, turnout period. So once that animal is then turned out to grass uh, in, in early March, the next part of, of the plan is to try and get as much carcass growth or uh, as much body growth on the animal as we possibly can from the cheapest feed available to us, which is grass. So they will spend that second summer out of grass uh, on a grass-only diet from then until November. We hope they will achieve a growth rate of about a kilo a day over that second season at grass. They'll then be housed um, at, again, November time, the back end of the year, uh, where they're weighing in around 500 to 510 kilos. Um, they're then put on, I suppose, a finishing diet of a high energy nut, low protein. Okay, we, want to, we don't want to grow them anymore, we want to put on a fat score and get the, the finish level on them uh, just, just perfectly for the factory. So once they're housed, they're on a diet of about five kilos per day, plus very good quality silage, 73 DMD plus. Um, they'll be fed this diet for 100 or 120 days, uh, putting on, I suppose, a finishing growth rate of about 0.9 of a kilo per day. Uh, they then fit, are fit for a factory at about, a, I suppose, a, a, a live weight of 650 kilos, or a total carcass weight of about 230 kilos. The two here behind us today uh, are almost fit for slaughter. They're weighing 670 kilos and 625 kilos. So again, they're well ahead and well on target for, I suppose, factory, factory slaughter. Thank you.